Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutail Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this princess beaded bracelet. It's easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And it's a good idea to do this because sometimes I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done, like I did earrings matching this bracelet and I'll link to them here at the eye icon. And in this way, you will know and will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for Amazon where you could buy supplies from and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now. I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Hey guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 ohm seed beads. And here I use twin beads, uh, or you could use super dual beads. These are beautiful two hole beads. And I have their links to Amazon where you could buy supplies from in description if you don't have them. And here I use this toggle clasp. You could use regular clasp if you want. And here I use uh, two jump rings. Uh, this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches through 0 0.15 millimeters. Uh, here I use size 10 beading needle, scissors, and, and these are pliers to attach my clasp at the end. Okay, so now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and in my first step I'm going to take four of these beautiful twin or super dual beads. If you're not sure where to find them, just look at the description. There are Amazon links to those type of supplies. Okay, and now I'm going to take four of those beads and here I'm going to make a knot and I pull and then I'm going to make one more knot. Okay, like this. Now guys, I will go through this first hole here, of one of my twins, the inner hole that's filled with thread. Okay, and I'm going to take one white bead and go through the next hole. And then I'm going to repeat this three more times. Okay guys, now I have this. And now as I'm exiting from this hole here, I will go through the outer empty hole of my twin bead like this. And now I want to flip my work because it's easier for me to go in this direction. Okay, and here what I want to take is one twin bead, one seed bead and one twin bead. Okay, and I'm going here through these beads. Then I'm going to take one twin one seed bead and one twin bead and go again through the outer empty hole of my work and again one twin one white seed bead one twin and the last time Okay guys, now you see where I'm exiting. I'm exiting out of this inner hole of this twin bead here, of this two hole bead. You could use super do. Okay, and I'm going here through its outer hole, like this, in this direction. And here I want to take one bead, okay? 
and go through the outer empty hole of this twin bead okay like this and now guys I'm going to flip my work because you know I'm right-handed and it's easier for me to work in this direction and now I'm going to take two white beads one blue bead and then two white beads this is what I have this is what I have and I will also go through this outer empty hole of my twin then I'm going to take one go here Then again two, one, and two, and then here. And it's time to take one. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this and I think it's time to cut this tail thread because it's on my way all the time and I don't need it anymore. Okay, now what I want to do is go here through these two white beads and exit out of the blue one. Okay, like this. And then here I want to take four of these beautiful blue beads and go through the outer empty hole of this twin bead. Then I'm going to take four more and go through the blue bead. Then again four, okay like this, and go through the empty hole of my twin or super dual bead then four and go through the blue one and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay guys, now I have this and what I'm going to do is go through all of those four beads and exit next to the pink super duo twin bead and here I need to take three white beads, skip this pink bead and go through the next four blue beads. Now this is what I have. Then I'm going to take three more white beads, skip this pink bead in the center and go through the next four beads, then take three more, skip the pink one, go here, take three white beads, skip the middle pink, uh, sorry, blue bead okay and now guys I'm going to continue this and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm here where I'm adding my last three beads from this row and now because this is the first element of my bracelet what I want to do is make here a loop where I will attach my clasp at the end okay and I'm going to take five blue beads okay I have my five here and I'm going back in circle through this white bead now I have six beads in a circle and I'm going to reinforce this
Okay guys, and now I reinforce this and it's time to make a knot and cut my thread. And in order to do this, I will go here through these two blue beads. I will make a loop and I will go twice through this loop I've made. I'm going here and pulling. Then I will go in my following two blue beads like this. And I'm going to cut my thread. And now the first element of my bracelet is ready. Okay, I will make one more element the same way I showed you. And I'll be back to tell you how to attach it to this one. Don't cut your thread when you make your next element. Okay guys, and now I have a second element here. And what I want to do, and now my thread is exiting out of this white bead. I still haven't cut my uh, tail thread and haven't made a knot after I did the element. And I will use this thread to attach it to my first element, okay? I have one blue bead. And if you forgot how I did this element, just rewind this video and see how I'm doing it. How I'm doing this one and repeat this, okay? Then taking one more blue bead like this. And you see what I'm doing here? I'm doing something like a loop between those two white beads. And now I'm going to reinforce this joint here. Okay guys, and now after I reinforce this joint, I will go here, make a knot and cut this thread. Then I will make one more element and continue adding more and more elements. And when I have six elements, I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet. Okay guys, and when I continued beading, this is what I have. I added more and more elements. If you forgot how I did it, just rewind the video and see how I'm making the first two elements and repeat this process. Here I have six time, six times, and I just connected my last element here, my sixth element. And what I want to do is reach this part and add a loop of beads for my clasp like I did before, okay. Okay guys, and here what I want to do is take five blue beads, okay, I have my five here, and what I want to do is reinforce this loop like I showed you before. Then what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, make a loop, go once, go second time through this loop I've made. Make sure I'm between those two bits where I started my knot from. Then go through the following C bit. And then cut my thread. Okay. Now guys, you could leave your bracelet like this, but I prefer to add an edge of beads here to make it uh, more stable. That is why I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back to show you how I'm adding this edge. Okay guys, now I have half an arm span of thread on my needle and I want to go here and attach this new thread to my bracelet, okay? 
And in order to do this, I'm go, I'm doing the same thing that I showed you before. Here I'm holding my tail thread with a thumb. And here I make a loop. I go once, I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull. And then guys, what I do is that I go through those two white beads in this direction. And I'm also going to cut this tail thread here. Okay. Now guys, I'm going to take four blue beads. Okay, four of them. And go here at this edge white bead. And I'm going to continue this the same way. I will go in this direction through as many beads as I can. Like this. And I want to exit in the same place. I want to exit in this white edge bead. Like this. And I want to take four blue beads and go here in this white one okay now I have this and I'm going to continue this guys until here until the other part of my bracelet and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and when I continue beading this is what I have and I'm here where I should just add my last four beads from this row. Like this. And now it's time to continue this process on the other side. And in order to do this, I'm going through all of those beads here. And now I will exit through the same place from this side. And I'm going to take four blue beads. Okay, four. And I'm going here in the same place. And I pull. Okay. And now guys, I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and I'm here where I'm adding my last four beads from this row. And here in my last step, I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread. And I'll be back to tell you how to attach your clasp. Okay, guys, and now my bracelet is almost ready. And what I need to add is my clasp. And in order to do this, I'm taking it... I'm going to put it here, my jump ring here. Then I'm going to put my clasp and I will squeeze back. And I will repeat this from the other side and my bracelet will be ready. Okay guys, and now my princess seed beads bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations down there in the description you will find a full list of materials, links to Amazon where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from